I'm almost to my put in now, but I had to pull over when I saw these flowers behind me. I love these things. I've always called these touch me nots. I don't know what the technical name for them is, but they have these cool little seed pods on them that explode when you touch them. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm out again on the St. Croix River here in New Brunswick. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's the first week of August and I've got a few days off, so I'm just doing a short trip down the lower part of the St. Croix this time. I left from Scott's Brook and I actually paddled upstream to this campsite at Tyler's Rips. It has a nice view here, so I'm going to sit here and enjoy my lunch, maybe take a little dip before I continue on my way. Oh yeah, that feels nice. I got one hooked. It's fighting. battle scar on it. Good, how are you? Uh, Loom Bay, probably. Probably down to Loom Bay. It's like three hours from here, maybe. So you just kind of determine as you go where you're going to Yeah. It's going to be a little drop right here. It's mid-afternoon now, the sun's still pretty high in the sky. It's a breezy but warm day. I made it over the shelf and around the rock garden just above Gravel Island. Now I'm just taking a little rest up against a rock here. I floated quite a ways today with a family that was tubing. They were visiting from just outside Toronto. They were pretty fun to talk to. It's nice how friendly everyone seems to be out on the water. Canadians are kind of known for being friendly, especially Canadians on the East Coast, and I got a good example of that this morning. I drove most of the way out this morning with the roof panels out of the Jeep, but before you get to the put-in, there's about a 17-kilometer stretch of off-roading you get to do. 
So I pulled over to put the roof panels back in just to keep some of the dust out of the Jeep. And the only car that I saw drive by while I was standing there pulled over to make sure I was okay. So that's classic East Coast. I love that. So it's been years since I've paddled this section of the river from Gravel Island down to Loom Bay. I've never actually stopped at this campsite before. It's really nice. I like it. It's really big too. I should be treated to a pretty beautiful view of the sunset here. I put in here this morning at Scott's Brook, then I paddled upstream to Tyler's Rips, which is where I had lunch. Then I made my way back down through this section of the river, and I'm currently here at Brown's Corner, which is where I'm going to camp tonight. As you can see, the Rolling Dam Brook winds around behind this campsite, so I might paddle up in there later, see if I can catch a little brookie. Tomorrow I'm going to make my way down through this section, through the St. Croix River Islands Protected Area, towards Loom Bay. I've got camp all set up and my wood ready to go for the night. This area looks like it's a pretty good spot for swimming, so I think I'm going to check that out. It looks like my tripod is now a bipod. One of the legs fell off. No luck trout fishing up in the brook. I guess it's chilly for supper. I think there's a snake nest in this grass somewhere. And I hear a lot of movement in there. seen two pretty big ones and two small ones.
Tonight's sunset hasn't disappointed. There's a reason I get the itch all winter long to do this. Oh, here comes the border patrol. Hey, morning everyone. It's about 9.30 now. The sun's starting to come up over the trees. It's starting to warm up. It's another beauty of a day. I've got camp mostly all packed up now and breakfast into me. I just gotta load everything in the boat. I'm gonna relax here for a little longer before I hit the water again and tackle that next set of rapids. I was planning on doing two nights, but I was able to get a radio signal at the site I just stayed at, and it said the weather's changed again since I left. Now they're calling for a thunder and lightning storm again tonight and tomorrow with 25 to 30 millimeters of rain, so I guess I'll just be enjoying my day on the river today and heading home. There's been a lot of storms this summer. They say it's something to do with a low pressure front hanging over the Maritimes. I'm no meteorologist, I just know it's really annoying that these storms keep happening when I have days off. There are some big rocks in this section of the river. Third one of the trip. one of my lures which is annoying but I got a pretty good one on the first cast with the new lure yeah yeah that's a nice one that one took the lure before it even hit the water oh he got away We're into this protected island area now. It is really pretty through here. All these islands are just covered in flowers. A little one, but what's that, bass number seven? Ooh, we got away. That's not a bad one.
made it to where the river opens up into Loom Bay now. There always seems to be a headwind here. Luckily, it's not too strong today because crossing this against a strong headwind can be a real pain. It's about 5 o'clock now. I've already got pretty much everything loaded in the Jeep. The meatballs that I was going to have for supper tonight have already defrosted, so I'm going to sit here on the dock and have some supper before I hit the road. Thanks so much for watching, as always. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Waterborne Camper, and I'll see you all again soon.